everyone, and uh, welcome, welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2. You are seeing this two weeks after the last, up. Uh, no, one, you, fuck, we're, we're playing Denmark, that's it, that, there we go, short intro. Who's been mewing, who's been mew maxing, huh? Who's been mewing, everyone? Chat, who's, who's a Sigma here? Everyone, who's a Sigma? So Denmark is a very interesting country. It's just already a good place to live. Look, look at this. Everyone is getting their luxury needs. There is there is no struggle in Denmark. Slight problem though. We we do still have slavery. It's a problem, but weirdly, the entire slave population is even getting all their needs met. So I I don't even know where to start. How? How is why is Denmark like this? <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to do what every small country does when they want to feel strong. When they want to feel like like a like a big strong country, and that's invade some small sub-Saharan African state that can't do anything about it. That's that's how you really get your footing as a as a modern nation. You know, that's how you really that's how you really let everyone know that you're strong. I'm in Norway right now, but at least I'm not in fucking Sweden. And the middle class is starving to death. Using the power of gunboat diplomacy, you too can pressure the Congolese government into giving you anything you could ever want. <laughs> Always bully African countries. They can do nothing about it. <laughs> why did that work? Chat, why did that work? Fuck Cabinda. Portugal's never getting Cabinda. Fuck you. All right, we've done, we've done a little bit of colonizing. You know, we've done a very, very small amount of colonizing. Just, it's a real beginning. After colonizing, I believe that we are finally strong enough to declare that we shall reunify Denmark and Norway. Let us declare war on the Swedish and let us fight for the reunification of Denmark and, and Norway. And we have won the war for Scandinavia. Glory to Denmark. Oh, Bo Cohen would be so proud. Oh, I, I love Denmark. I love Denmark. I love Denmark. Using the power of bullying Sweden into becoming a liberal republic. Denmark is officially the eighth great power of the world. Isn't isn't that a beautiful thing? We need to chase down Norway here. All right, as we are a great power, I believe it is time for us to restore a united crown of Denmark, Norway. Oh my God, look at this map. This is beautiful. This is one of the most beautiful things I've seen in my entire life. I have not seen something this beautiful in so long. I have no words. Okay, everyone. So there was a crisis over Hungary. There is a crisis over freeing the people of Hungary. And it's it's balanced. However, no one will give me military access. So I am going to simply do nothing. I'm just like, I'm just going to put my name on this one. We're not actually fighting here. I'm here for the participation trophy, everyone. Thank you very much. It is time for us to claim more of Sweden's land. We must claim land that is rightfully ours because God damn it, do I, I hate Sweden. I hate Sweden. No one, no one quote me on that though. Cause my opinion is going to change when I'm playing Sweden. And we have defeated the Swedish menace. Yes, I know this is border gore. I will make it better later. I, I wanted to connect my territory, okay? I I, I, wa I I wanted to connect my land. Don't judge me. So I was in the middle of uh, invading China, mostly because I want more money and I wanted something to do while I sat around and waited and the game gave me a free war goal. But then something funny happened. The heavenly kingdom declared independence Right as I attack China. And so really, I think this is just, you wanna know what I think this is the game saying? I think the game is telling me it's my heavenly mission to defend the heavenly kingdom at all costs, of course. That's what I think. All right, I believe I've intervened enough, mostly because my troops are in a place where I can't really reach them right now and I don't feel like going and fighting for them. So instead, I'm just going to let China get away with only having an unequal treaty. However, I, I think I've done a, uh, a very, very large amount of damage to China. So I'm just going to take a concession right next to Beijing because I don't trust them to not get up to some antics perhaps in the future. Oh, oh, oh my God. I backed Congress Poland for the meme and they're actually independent. Oh my God. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a master of diplomacy if you really think about it. Like, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a master of diplomacy. Let me just get Finland in my sphere of influence real quick. We have decided to take the Swedish nation to court over our rightful claims of Lapland. We have rumors of them committing terrible atrocities to the Sami people. We have Sami as an accepted population, which is why we must demand our rightful territory off of the Swedish. And as such, the Swedish beast 
has been rightfully partitioned. Huzzah! Fuck Frank F. Freak. Fuck Frank F. Freak, all right? We got Ottoman Sokoto. All right, fuck Frank Afri. Oh my God, Frank Afri is in. The French have hit Egypt. Holy shit. Our lands must be expanded. We have been disrespected by the great powers for so long. The great powers do not truly recognize us as equals. We must claim our rightful territories of the Outer Herbides and, and the Isle of... No, no, not again. Not again. All right, let's start building our ports. Yeah, we're building all kinds of ports. Oh my god, motherfucking new ports. God motherfucking damn. The great powers of Europe have once again shown that they do not respect the Dano-Norwegian kingdom. They are attempting to force us to free trade within the Baltic Sea. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is unreasonable. How dare they demand something like this from us? The tolls are far too important. Oh, everyone is at war with me. Everyone declared war on me. <laughs> Everyone declared war on me over this. I'm sure it's fine. We have humiliated the Swedish. We have humiliated the French, but the British. I hold a, 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 a special disdain for the British and what they have done. And so we must reclaim our core territory in the highlands off of the British menace for what they have done to us. And we will be back. We will be back for more. We will be, we will be back. But first, we must punish the people of Prussia. And I do specifically mean the people. Please understand that I specifically mean that it is the people who are being punished. I don't want this to be interpreted any other way. I am committing war crimes in Germany. Sorry, everyone. War crimes canceled. Prussia wants peace. And I'm not fighting a death war unless I have to. Let's go. We're going to rename Scotland. We're renaming Scotland. Oh, this feels so good. This feels so good. It feels so good to do fucked up and evil things, doesn't it? All right everyone so i was in the middle of preparing to invade the egyptian kingdom when suddenly the united kingdom declares war on me and calls in russia we are in a little bit of a situation right now but don't worry we will come out of this on top we will come out of this as winners because our our military was already getting ready it was all ready prepared so this will be everything will be fine everything will be okay the brave fighters of schleswig holstein who unprompted invaded ipswich got a little fruity with it and then won <laughs> Shout out to you. You're doing the Lord's work here, clearly. The United States of America has just sent me an alliance. I was in the middle of complaining about not knowing what to do because I was out of manpower. The Americans hate the... The United States of America will intervene in this war. The United States of America will be coming in clutch. Oh my God, we called them in and Britain immediately surrendered. I'm going to see if I can get anything out of this. You see this chat? This is why, this is why you never settle for less. If you want to watch Crazy Death Wars, check us out live on stream at Link's Girl Bars on YouTube. <laughs> Anyways, the British and Russians have surrendered all of our territory. And even better, we liberated the Finnish and now they will surrender our rightful territory to us. Oh my God, these borders are terrible. I didn't mean for this to happen. Oh God, oh no. What did I do in Karelia? Shit, oops, oopsie fucking poopsies. I just noticed Hungary and Finland are mutually allied to each other. Bro, who let the Mongolian alliance form? Who let the Mongolian alliance form? Bro, what the fuck? The Russian Empire has declared war on me while I was busy colonizing in Africa. What a what a dirty fucking move that they played there. Oh my god, that is a really dirty move. Oh my goodness. My, my like my fleet is in Africa. Everything is in Africa right now. How dare they do this shit all right everyone disaster has been averted the russians are willing to sell out their british allies after i completely fucking annihilated them and now we own hull and now all we need is to put a jingoist party in charge and we can restore the dane law oh my god that gave me 30 infamy hold on i'll be right back all right, I clicked the button again, but I waited for my infamy to go down. Look at this country. The goddamn Dane law. It gains no extra accepted pops. I 
get claims on all of England. And I have a war goal on Hungary because they're poor and no one likes them. Anyways, we need to get ready to liberate our cores, I guess. Dude, you took so long. Dude, you took until 1885. You can't call that a Tokugawa victory. It took you until 1885. You can't, you can't say you win. Finally, the truce is over and we can fight the British Empire. The British Empire is not prepared to fight an enemy as motivated as I am. Not a single one of my allies will accept joining this war, but I don't care because it is a war which needs to be fought for the future of the people of the Dane law. Let us march onwards, everyone. Let us march onward. Death War Sheffield. Death War Sheffield. I'm going to kill the entire English population. I mean, army. It, the army is the target. I'm targeting the army. I'm I'm only targeting the army. If I wink a lot, does that make does that make how much I'm lying obvious to everyone? The United Kingdoms is no more. I have made this world a better place. And you will thank me for this. You should be proud. You should rejoice. Rejoice for the more beautiful world I have given you all. Rejoice. I have brought order. I have brought balance to this ridiculous world. A world where the Anglo-Saxons rule the world. Does that make any sense to you? No. And so I have corrected it. I think I'm, I think I'm starting to scare chat a little bit. I think, I think chat's getting a little bit scared. The capital of Danish England is Birmingham. We are in a bit of a situation at the moment. I've been, since the start of this game, purposely being very limited with what I colonize so that I can get good borders in West Africa. However, the French had the exact same idea. And we're in a crisis where Russia and Prussia are backing France. It would absolutely be a death war. Wouldn't be worth it in the slightest. But I asked chat and chat said it would be funny. And because chat said it would be funny, I mean, we have to fight the death war. Why are there English patriots in Scotland? The French have surrendered and thank god they did all i had to do was sell out italy baby let's go and as such look at our beautiful border in africa this was worth that war this was so worth it this was absolutely worth it this was so worth it this was worth all right everyone I've been just casually conquering Scandinavia, dealing with a comical amount of revolts. Everyone who watched the stream would know. When a crisis fires over Anatolia, anyone who has ever played GFM would know that Anatolia is a broken tag, but we're about to fight World War I over it. All right, everyone. The world's stupidest first world war has officially begun. I am absolutely confident that this is the world's stupidest World War I. I don't think there's a more stupid reason for World War I to start than what we have here. The United Kingdom has decided to declare war on me while I was in the middle of handling my business. Never mind, the Americans are helping me, so I can pretty much just ignore England. I don't I don't really care about the English anymore. I no longer believe that there is an England. Oh shit, wait, this is the Great War now. Update everyone, this is now officially the Great War, meaning that I can have war goals. The British Empire has surrendered to us. We are still struggling against the Russians. This is because we do not have a war goal and France refuses to peace. I'm considering just debug yes menning it because it's glitched. Neither side can win right now. Neither side can win. But at least I know Ireland is a is one second please ireland is a free and independent okay it's kind of free it's debatably free it's 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 basically free look the color is slightly different the map color is slightly different okay listen listen no, no listen i think i deserve to be able to peace out here i think i deserve to be able to peace out after a 70 war score battle since the French want to be difficult, I use Debug Yesmen to end the war manually. Because listen, we got a plus 70 war score battle. I don't care. I'm not continuing that war. That was just not worth it. You can yell at me in the comments. Oh my god, they're England now. They're England. Oh shit! It's happening. It's happening. Everyone, it's, it's happening. Stay calm. Stay calm. The English Raj is collapsing. England does not have enough soldiers. India is finally collapsing. We've waited so long for this we might this game finally see a united india we are so back all right everyone russia is in the middle of a war against france they're not going to be for long because germany is steamrolling them but this gives us a moment of opportunity we must take advantage of this and we must dismantle the russian empire they have caused us 
far too much pain throughout the years to be allowed to continue to live. We must dismantle the Russian Empire at once. God, I hate Russia. Yes, my minions, yes! Make this tweet do numbers. Oh, wait, they're already gonna accept? I didn't even have to kill them. We have finally defeated the Russian Empire and the Copenhagen Conference has been called to dismantle the Russian Empire. The Copenhagen Conference has completed and uh, I, I think we got a pretty good peace deal this time. We've got Pacific Alaska, as as always. I always love seeing the Pacific States of America. It's a very funny thing to me and I always find it funny. And I don't actually know what their, oh, their capital isn't even in America. We got a beautiful split up Russia. Everyone loves the Far Eastern government. Everyone loves the Siberian Republic. Everyone loves the Ural Free State. Everyone, everyone loves the split up Russia. And in Europe, Lithuania is a puppet state. For some reason though, I was not able to make the Baltic Union a, pup a puppet state. And so I'm gonna need to, uh, I'm gonna need to turn my attention to the Baltic Union. This, this is a grave matter. This is a, this is a, this is an important matter to the state. We must annex the Baltic Union. We must. I mean, what else could, I mean, I mean, I mean, this is, this is, life or death right here so I'm, I'm gonna see you back when we're when we're in the, in the middle of doing that i am just justified to make livonia a puppet there's a very slight problem being that livonia is allied to the germans we might have to fight germany over this and if we do that's no problem okay that's okay it's okay if we have to fight germany over this however it is 1 29 a.m so i'm not gonna be you know doing any crazy I'm not gonna do anything wild against germany here uh, yeah, they joined. Of course they joined. I forgot to call in my allies, which is a mild inconvenience. So chat, I was wondering where the German army was because we are curb stomping them in Europe. And then I check Africa. The entire German army was in the middle of colonizing Africa, meaning that they're not able to stop what's happening in Europe. Round of applause for German high command and their genius strategizing. Germany has officially capitulated. Germany has capitulated. Why did Sweden have cores on this? Why did Sweden have cores on this singular city in Germany? Okay, here we go. I've done my best to do the dismantlement myself manually, because for some reason the dismantlement thing broke and I wasn't able to release anything, but I still took infamy. So this is what the world looks like in 1923. I think this is where we're gonna leave it off for today. I just don't know what else there is to do, really. I mean, people suggested that I bully France. People suggested that I take Pomerelia. But I mean, think about it. We're gonna be playing Sweden eventually anyways. So we gotta save things to do for Sweden and Norway. Cause I wanna play Norway too eventually. And I'll probably do like a special, like going for Vinland thing is no, I don't know. Anyways, if you all enjoyed, please like and subscribe and, and, Drop a comment, you know, just 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 say something. I don't you could you can even say a mean thing in the comments. You can be mean and rude. You're allowed to do that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>